Well, hello, fellas. Uh, welcome back. If you were here for the last video, you know we ranked the top 10 worst character designs in League of Legends. So to continue on that, we're now doing the top 10 best and the top 10 missed potential. The latter we will be focusing on today. This potential, of course, means the design isn't necessarily bad, just that there's so much more that could have been done with it, and you can see it right there, they just had to go a little bit further. Of course, all of this was streamed live on my Twitch channel, so if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to, you know, you could like or subscribe or something like that, and maybe follow me over there. That'd be... That'd be cool. Alright, let's get on with the video. <laughs> and we'll start off with an honorable mention, which you guys were mentioning before. We'll start with the honorable mention, which is Anavia. This character could be so much cooler than she is. A cryo phoenix. That idea alone is cool, but it's like, she's bird. Blech. <laughs> There's a three-way tie where they're all honorable mentions. I put her with Malphite. I think Malphite is on the same level. And I think Nautilus is also on the same level. I think all three of these champions share equally that the concept is cool, but the execution is like, it just bleh. Granted, LOR makes it a lot better. Vigar <laughs> is on the list of honorable mention. Because Vigar is black mage, and that's it. He's got his comedic charm to him, but he's just black. <laughs> All right, now, we ended off the last list with a void champion. I think it's fitting we start off Miss Potential list with a void champion. And that void champion is none other than Cassidy's mortal enemy, and that would be Malzahar. <laughs> I think Malzahar has the potential to be really, really, really cool. The idea of a prophet completely tainted, not physically, but mentally by the Void, is really cool. And he's like heralding, he's like working, you know, for the Watchers. No, I don't know about the Watchers, but you know, he's trying to bring up about the Void to Runeterra, right? But like, he's just dude, dagger. I like the little purple eye thing in his head, that's cool. So we will move on to number nine. And this one is Miss Potential, not because the design is horrendous, because he certainly isn't, but because we have other examples of his character just done better. Allie Star. Because Alistar is another champion that can be boiled down to he is Minotaur. You can't milk those. Steak dinner. Fun fact, did you fellas know the Minotaur are not Vistaya? Yep. I don't know why. It what <laughs> The Vestaya are races of half-animal, half-people beings, sometimes ranging from merely just being people with little bits of animal features like Rakan and Zaya with little ears and maybe some weirdo feet and shit. We have seen what other Minotaurs look like, like the Minotaur Reckoner, good ol' Arak Glinthorn. We got the Risen Reckoner. Every single other Minotaur is more interesting than Alistar is. Alistar has no Noxian anything on his design anywhere. He's got shackles, that's kind of it. Why does it look like you can plug a cable into the Ruin Reckoner's belt thing? Plug a cable into the... <laughs> oh no, I'm never gonna be able to unsee that. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Number eight has a very similar problem that Alistar has, in which the champion is far, far less interesting than any of her follower cards. Ye old, uh, Sun Lady. I'm just gonna say it, uh, Leona looks like a Raid Shadow Legends character. God, I, I look at her, I'm like, wow, that is boring. <laughs> and here's the thing about it. Look at the Solari. Whoo! The Solari got, mm. Oh, the Solari aesthetic, bro. The Solari aesthetic is mwah. Like the, the reds and the browns and the gold and the, the, the spiky, the sun imagery is like just, just on there just enough to like get the message across, but not so overbearing that it's like, you know, crazy. Not to mention, right? We have Leona, sun lady, you know, praise the sun and all that. Yep. I raise you, Ravun, daylight spear. Uh, can we remove Leona from League of Legends and replace her with Ravun, please? Oh, yes! The ironic part is, Solari Daybreak deck in Legends of Runeterra cannot function without Ravun. Moving on from Sun Lady, we move on to another champion, good old Zareth. There he is, there's the boy. A character entirely carried by his LOR playstyle and nothing else. It's better, of course. I, th I think it is definitely better. It does not fix him though. I like the idea of a being of pure energy trying to escape contained. It's supposed to be a coffin, but it looks like armor, you know, especially in the new design. So it, I like the new design for the head and for the gold parts. I think the gold parts and the helmet make it look more like a sarcophagus because that's what it's supposed to be. He literally has gauntlets now. It looks even more like armor than it did. 
So it's like you, you give and take with the new design. Now we get into one mage who I think has is cool in concept but severely lacking in what they could look. Victor. There he is, he's Victor. He just looks silly. You're telling me like he fully augmented himself and he still needs a brace? Entire right arm unaugmented. He kept his hair intact. He's got a cape for some reason. This looks more like a face mask. It looks like he could just take this stuff off when he wants. It's like a costume. It looked like a cyborg to me. All right, at number five, you guys know who I'm talking about. I I am talking about Redacted. I think Redacted was a horrible missed opportunity. Not even for her, but for what she did to Skarner. Anyone in here follow Jumarlo Hex? What he does is every time a champion's birthday comes up, he will do something like this. Where he will post a picture of the champion's first iteration and the champion's most recent iteration in any form of media. There's classic Lux. And there's Lux in the most recent iteration. <laughs> Azir's first piece of media he was in, that being his splash art, and his most recent being his level 3 in Legends of Runeterra. We're all on the same page here. Are you ready for Skarners? <laughs> Uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Every other character's had like something, you know, at least like Ivern had a reveal trailer. Skarner's had nothing. It's a PNG of his in-game character model. He's had nothing. He came out in 2011. He has had nothing for 10 years. And then what do they do? Redacted shows up and butchers his story even further. If you fellas are aware of who Vsauce is, and they made this a little bit ago, and I thought it was really cool. There it is. They made a little redesign of Redacted. And I actually really like this. More Piltoven, less K-pop, and changed her story to be more about saving the Brackern because she can hear them. That's way better. Yeah, it's like, there's still like, you got the stars and the headphones, so you have the singing part about that, but she looks like she's from Piltover now and not flowing in. Yeah, no stupid hoverboard. I don't think I need to explain why the regular Redacted is just not good. I don't want to talk about, about her any more than I have to because I know the stands are going to come after me. Yeah send me death threats because I don't like the fictional K-pop character. Number four. four. Now this is a character I think is in desperate need of an ASU. The idea behind them is really, really cool, but it is, does not come across at all. Kai and Valmar and Varus. Wow, Varus could be so cool, but he's just not. People only remember Varus when he's meta. The main issue with Varus is that they retconned him into being a Darken. Any retcon that happens without substantial updates to back it up, it doesn't work. They retcon Varus into being a Darken who is a hybrid mix of a Darken and a gay couple and they fuse into one body. I get nothing from any of that. Well, first of all, he's purple. I don't know. Why is he, why is he purple? He should be red at least. Kane already does this, right? That's, I think that's one thing is that Kane already has the like Venom, Eddie Brock kind of dynamic, right? The voice in your head talking to each other, right? We already have that. As far as his three people and typically the Darken is in control most of the time, right? So you, you could have Valmar and Kai you know, trying to battle for control, right? So I, I think Varus is like one of the top candidates for an ASU in my opinion. All right, this next one, uh, Lilia is one of my favorite characters in League of Legends, but that does not stop her from being a human duct taped to a deer. So at the moment, Lilia is probably my favorite character to play in League of Legends, and I love her personality. But her design is so... How, how do I put this? Like, we have a, a, a being made by dreams. What does that look like? It's a normal-ass servitar with a flower on her head and some little purple splotches here and there. And she could have been so much more interesting. Now, in a similar fashion, there's another champion who I think has very, very similar problems. It's Nino Yishniko. She was hiding in the bushes. She was disguised herself. Funny lizard. My whole thing with Nico is that she is part of the Vestaya Shirei. Her race of people are the most furthest removed Vestaya from humanity that exist. I'm sorry, Nico is a normal ass human being with a lizard tail and green body paint. It's not even scales. There's so little lizard about her. So little chameleon. Make her more lizard like. I just think making Nico so humanoid was a mistake. I think they should have gone much further in the chameleon route than they did with the human route. That leaves us with the number one character that has been in the limelight a lot this year. You guys are all saying, you guys are all saying, Diego, you all know it, right? 
All right, of course, you guys know. It's fucking singed. It's singed. The plot twist. I bamboozled you again. I got you again. And my problem with Singed, and I've said this uh, many times before, is that it is impossible to do Singed right. Like, it, it can't- I- I am of the firm belief it cannot be done. Yeah, exactly. Because in-game Singed is a completely different character to Lore Singed. They are entirely separate characters. And the issue is, is that both of those things are really good, right? There is no character in League of Legends who plays like Singed. Singed is so unique. But like, why would this crippled old man be running around like a race car? It makes no sense. Make him a race car. I don't know, maybe, maybe just put him in a car or something. I don't think Singed will ever, ever be there. And that's why I put him at number one Miss Potential. Because I think he never stands a chance of being better, ever. Because whatever you do, you're gonna kill half of Singed, you know? If you go more into gameplay, then you're gonna miss- you're gonna kill Lore Singed, and if you go more into Lore, you're gonna kill gameplay Singed. I- I- I don't think it can be done.